Have all the seals been placed? Yes, they're placed. I can still hear them! Obed, they're inside your mind. They're trying to make you set them free! In the name of God, what have I done? Keep walking, Obed. Plug your ears. Don't let the voice reach you. Do you want to end up like them? Turner, where's... Keep moving, Obed. We have to get farther away. I can hear him! He needs our help! Obed, it's the voice! Come on! Turner! He's dead! They're all dead, Obed! Keep walking! Yes, you do. You brought them here, Obed. Look, the seals are in place and the gate is locked. There's nothing else we can do. Hopefully it will be enough. We can never come back here, can we? No. No living thing shall enter Scarstail Manor ever again. Or the whole world is doomed. And thus it has been since that day. Until now. Well, thank God, the first people to set foot in it since then are people who make videos on the internet. Well, yes. If you have any more questions about the manor, or indeed Scarsdale himself, I'd be happy to elucidate. I only met him once in my previous life, but his reputation as an explorer preceded him resplendently. Well, thanks, Lovecraft. I'll keep that in mind. One must also keep in mind that the reputation of this house also has preceded us. The abode in which we now stand is damned and full of terrors that shall make playthings of your soul. Well, now you've got my interest. Ah, Diamanda Hagen. How's life as an evil dictator treating you? Beautifully, as always. My minions recently finished their work on a 15-foot statue of me in front of my castle. Naked, of course. Unfortunately, I can only afford to bring along one minion on this trip. Any more the check baggage costs would have been ludicrous. Of course. And remember what I said earlier. Right, no killing any producers. Or anyone, for that matter. You're not the boss of me! Though admittedly, maiming might be more fun. If you'll excuse me, I wish to greet the others whom I've never before met. Right, all the guests. All the former producers. Jeez, you forget how many of us there really were until you see so many in a room together. We should form a band. The Expatriates or something. It's taken, sadly. Australian band by that name. Swade, you made it! Wasn't it expensive to get here? Eh, there were actually plane tickets in my invitation. Someone really wanted me here. And yet, not all of us. Like, where's Brandon Tenold? Or Joe? Or Masako? Uh, Masako got an invite. He decided not to come. I think we can assume, given how many of us did come, that everybody who used to be on the site got an invite. It's just some people decided not to follow the mysterious summoning to the random ordered house with vague promises of riches. Oh, that's a shame. I mean, it would have been nice to see some people again. Seems like we always used to get together for the anniversaries and all that. Yeah, we always did. All of us. Should have poisoned the lottie for that sight against me. Technically, I wasn't either. I just bumped into everybody. Yeah, but some people kept getting invited while the rest of us rotted. Feels like it was so long ago, hanging out with everyone and fighting evil. <laughs> Do you remember the storm train of secrets? <sighs> no, I don't, because I was never invited. Well, you were invited this time. Yeah, oh, well, give fuck you in your hat. Okay, selfie style with this, but it's fine. <clears throat> To all who come to this creepy mansion in the middle of nowhere, welcome! I'm some jerk with a camera, and I was invited to attend a little shindig along with like two dozen other online content producers, none of whom are willing to hold my camera for some reason. Now you might be asking yourself, why am I asking myself questions instead of posting a comment asking the person whose video I'm watching a question? Well, that's because there's a secret society of tuna fish that have mind control powers. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I wasn't paying attention to where I was going. It's fine. I wasn't happy with that take anyway. Uh, who, who might you be? The name's e -Rod, the Blockbuster Buster. And you? Oh, I'm some jerk with a camera. Did you name yourself after a negative comment that someone made? Oh, no, no, no. It was just something my dad said to me last time I saw him. You'll never amount to anything as some jerk with a camera. <laughs> 
I can remember it like it was just eight years ago. That's certainly a way of motivating yourself. So, what are you doing? On the camera? It's been so long since everybody's been in one place like this. Plus, with all the people who weren't at those other events, I'm just doing a vlog to commemorate it. You? Well, with the invitations we got, frankly, I'm thinking this whole thing is going to turn out to be some kind of haunted house attraction that they're expecting YouTubers to market for them. And hey, I review theme park rides, it's not cheap. If they want me to shill and let me put out new content, well, Disney only owns 46% of my soul, the rest is fair game. Are you at all creeped out by this situation? This could be a most dangerous game sort of thing. Oh, relax. We just got a mysterious summoning to a house out in the middle of nowhere without any idea who our host is or their intentions, nor were they at the door to greet us when we arrived, and there's no one around for miles who could possibly help us, and we're all gonna die, aren't we? I mean, probably, yeah. Well, I've wasted my life. Well, I mean, if they're still drinking blood and it's a gothic setting... Very gothic setting. The planet is like an old medieval village, but the three rulers are vampires. I thought you said they were giant-sized and they could drink the blood of an entire planet in one bite. No, 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 no. That's just the king vampire. He escaped the war with the Time Lords into e-space. Hello! Hi there! Kaluna, right? I'm Nella, and I love your hat. Oh, thanks. You were part of that big talent drive the site had, right? Yeah, I was part of the group that joined along with Yomars, Dom, and a few others here. Well, good evening then, Kaluna. I am the Maven of the Eventide. What was that? What was what? That accent you put on. I didn't put on any accent? You did. You always do. It's like you become French or something for a second. I have no idea what you're talking about. In any case, I'm confused by the lore here. I thought that the vampires in Doctor Who were like fish people. No, no, no. That was an episode where they said they were vampires. The actual canon vampires, well, as canon as Doctor Who goes anyway, are the giant ones that fought the Time Lords. Wow. What? I've been kind of drifting around the party, meeting people, and already I've heard three Doctor Who conversations, a Star Trek argument, and two Star Wars wars. Is that normal that this is all we talk about when we get together? Yeah, that's pretty much our lives. Sometimes I talk about the history of tomatoes. Oh, okay. Well, I haven't really watched that much Doctor Who, but uh, I have been reading up on a few post-apocalyptic novels. <gasps> You have my undivided attention. You have, unfortunately, lost mine. Unless you're talking about one with vampires in it, or the one I wrote? Hey, it could be worse. You'd be surprised about what some of the others here are talking about. It's torture porn and you know it. It is not, and you know it. The Saw movies have complex storylines with great acting, frightening scenarios, and nuanced characters. And scenes involving people cutting chunks off limbs to appease an ever-hungrier fanbase of people who want to see more and more graphic bodily torture. Well, yeah, that too. Um, excuse me. Hi. Hello. Oh, there's more people here. I never really got a chance to meet you guys before you left the site. Uh, I'm the bargain boy. I'm Dina, this is Welshie. Hey, uh, so it's great to meet you. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt with what you guys were talking about. Don't worry about it, we were just talking about horror movies. And in particular how the Saw series is terrible and overcomplicated, when it could have just been a single good movie instead of a bunch of terrible ones all about torturing people. No! They're morality tales, spearheaded by a man driven to make people appreciate their lives. By putting them in situations they can win, it's their own selfishness and stupidity that gets them killed. By torturing them, you mean, and then forcing the audience to watch the torture for their entertainment, and then pushing it to ridiculous extremes because the audience wanted more torture scenes. So it's torture porn. How did this conversation even get started? I think he said hello. Yeah, and she asked me when I was going to finish my soul retrospective. It's been over six years! I know! And I turned into a woman at the end of that. Come to think of it, how the hell am I here? And that got you talking about torture porn? It just kind of ballooned from there. And you could certainly do worse for horror sequels than Saw. Matty Buck and I did two crossovers on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies. And... Yeah, alright, only one of those was a sequel, the other was a 
prequel to the remake. Come to think of it, that series is overcomplicated. Has there even been a good Texas Chainsaw movie after the first one? Eh, three was okay. Well, I mean, I've never watched any of them, so I wouldn't know. But seriously, though, how, how long have you guys been talking about those? I think since we got here. There's nothing to do but eat food and talk, so that's what we're doing. Or we've been like Chaos D1 here, who's been quietly watching the whole time without a single word. Yeah, we've been here for like two hours, and no one's shown up to tell us why we're here, so I'm just gonna find entertainment where I can. I'm pretty sure this conversation actually started with them talking about Hellraiser movies. Ah, uh, yes, Hellraiser. A good horror movie series. Especially in those films where we see people being graphically injured with hooks and changed purely to torture the characters for the amusement of the audience. So much better than Saw. I know you guys can't see this, but she is staring daggers at me right now. The hell are you talking about? Nothing, Jen. Just doing like you and finding entertainment where I can. If you guys were so bored by all this, why'd you even come? Mostly because, you know, it's been a few years, I've been lonely, and I miss these guys. And miss trolling them. Regularly. I was suspicious of the invitation, but when I asked Linkara about it, he said he was coming to check it out, so I figured it'd be fine. Same. You know... It's good that we all implicitly trust someone during a weird situation that we don't have all the facts for. It's not like we've been stabbed in the back before, is it? Uh huh. Maybe you'll be the first person I throw Rob at. Rob? Yes, yeah, see? This is Rob. Rob the monkey. Rob, meet boy. Boy, meet Rob. Uh, you usually bring a stuffed animal with you when you go overseas? Yeah, but he usually goes by the name Sad Panda. So, yeah, I was one of the remaining music guys. Rocked. Don't suppose you ever saw it. Nah, Luke, sorry. I kind of fell behind on a lot of people's videos after I stopped doing my own show. You ever miss it, Paul? Yeah, but it's a matter of free time and money, and I never really got the numbers that some people got. And while I had fun with it, well, life takes priority, especially when you've got a family. I came mostly just to get caught up with people. I get you. So, that guy over there, the one in the suit. Yeah, what about him? Everyone keeps calling him Lovecraft. Is that really his name? Yep, and he really is that Lovecraft. What? Yeah, seriously, he's H.P. Lovecraft. He was resurrected in, what, 2012 and made a series where people ask him questions. Like, how can a dude just come back to life? Linkara has a spaceship, Diamanda fought a fairy, and some of us have fought wizards and robots. A dude coming back to life is not the weirdest thing that has happened to us since we started making videos on the internet. Okay, okay, point taken. Wasn't H.P. Lovecraft also, like, super incredibly racist? Yeah, he says he doesn't like to talk about that. Luke! Oh, sweet Jesus, no. How are you, best bud? I am not your best bud, Dom. I would not even describe us as buds. You're right. Our friendship has blossomed into the flower of camaraderie so deep I may even call it bromance. Ooh, or holy matrabrony. The only flowers between us are the ones I shall lay on your grave because I murdered you. <gasps> You'd give me flowers at my funeral? Ah, you really are the sweetest best friend I've ever had. Oh, for the love of God, please kill me. Or better yet, kill him. I will help hide the body. Nah, no way. I would never break up such a wonderful friendship. Ooh, there's shrimp at the hors d'oeuvre table. Pa, don't leave me alone with him. Hey, 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 brother from another mother. Check out these custom t-shirts I designed with us, hugging on them. Huh. The fan art people make must be immortalized. Jeez, this is a bit weird. I know, right? The food table has like four different veggie trays and no celery in any of them. Did someone eat all that before we got here or is it- No, not that. Oh, although, yeah, that is weird. I mean, everyone being in a room like this again. A lot of people here I never really met when I was on the site. Oh, uh, yeah, the ones I know, that they're, they're decent people. I, I did a spotlight with some of the newer people on Radio Dead Air for a while. It was always kind of like that when we got together for the anniversaries. There'd be some people I'd never met before and got to know them during all that. It's weirder when we're just standing around talking. Yeah, well, look, you just gotta break the ice a bit and talk to the new people. Here, I got this. Hey, Sean! Sean, come over here and say hi. Nash, any idea what happened to the celery? Mars girl, nice to meet you. Likewise. So you were brought on during the big talent hunt? Eh, not really. 
I was on blistered thumbs and got kind of grandfathered in when it closed. Hey, that's still a former contributor, so it certainly counts. And frankly, it's just so awesome to actually be here. Y you think we're filming a movie? Oh man, I'd love to be in a crossover. Somehow I doubt that's the case. Oh well, I'm sure we'll know for certain what's up once we get the script. Script? Yeah, for the crossover. God, I hope it's not as long as the space one. That was like watching a miniseries. Yeah, you realize that wasn't scripted, right? We went into space. Mars Girl went twice. Ah, oh, come on. How gullible do you take me for? You act like stuff in the anniversaries was real or something. I almost died. Like, multiple times for me. Sure you did. Next you'll be telling me Benzai really is that French. Wow. He had plane tickets too? That's what Filmbrain said, but he didn't want to risk it. Whoever did this has a fortune behind him. And hey, wouldn't be the first time he had a rich fan. True enough. Besides, it's an opportunity to visit Scarsdale Manor. Why is that important? It's just a mansion, right? I heard about this place years ago. Scarsdale travelled the world and collected rare, unique treasures from vaults and tombs and whatnot. The guy was basically a 19th century Indiana Jones, minus the put them in a museum part. But then he unexpectedly sealed the place up one night, and no one's been allowed in there since. It's bloody fascinating. Then that just makes me think we're all here to promote this place for tourism. And I don't care about that, since it means I get to hang out with everybody. Sophie! Okay. Ryan, right? Yep. Ryan Molina of Battle Geek Plus. And your Lotus Prince. You do all the Let's Plays? Yeah, yeah, that's me. You can let go of me now? <laughs> oh, sorry, man. It's just, I'm so excited. I never got to hang out with anybody on the side in person when I was brought on. Oh, Mike J! Yeah, I- Toby! Yeah. Dudes, this is amazing. We've got to get everyone in on a group picture. Maybe later. So, why do you think we're all invited? I don't know, man. Maybe like Lotus said, this is all some big museum opening and they want a bunch of internet people to promote it? But why us? I look at bad movie sequels and infomercial products. You do video games, Lotus is a Let's Player, Lin Linkara does comics, Nash does a weekly radio show and Maven does vampire movies. The point is, none of us are the right people to be covering a museum opening. No chandelier. Yeah. Ah! Yo Mars, where the hell did you come from? Oh, from outside after being chased by a dinosaur. There's no chandelier in here. So? This hall is basically a big extravagant ballroom, but all the lights are coming from the walls. There isn't a big impressive chandelier that's also providing light. Okay, that is a little weird, but maybe just- And the ceiling pattern. Those lines make it look like they're just big, loose tiles. What exactly are you trying to say? Oh, nothing. Just an observation. Ooh, wait, are you taking selfies? Hell yeah! Bring it in! Attention, everyone! So it's been about an hour since anyone else showed up and still no sign of whoever was that invited us. Does anyone know why we're here? Well, I don't know why we were invited, but at this point, I figure we're here to get drunk. Certainly enough booze for that. Well, truth be told, I don't really care why we're invited. I just... Well, she, I see you there. Put the monkey away. Ah, oh, you're no fun. Anyway, it's far too uncommon for us to see one another, but we're all here now. There are like 25 of us all here, and like Luke said, at this point, let's just booze it up and have a good time. Way ahead of you. Pour me a glass, Mike, and let us toast us, the former producers of- What the hell? Oh, great! Oh, look at the walls, they're shifting around! Go for the door, let's get out of here. Oh, well, she get away from there! Where'd that metal wall come from? cut off too. The curse is upon us. Is everyone okay? I can't see a bloody thing. Hang on, hang on, give me a second. Let me, let me get my phone out. There. It's not much, but it's, it's helping. Wait, I've got mine too. Uh, wait, better not. M my battery's at 50% already. Better save it. The curse is upon us. The house shall devour our souls. Oh, shut up about that. Are you all okay? 
I think so, although I could just be in shock. Same. What the hell was that? It was the beginning of the end. The descent of our souls down into a pit where we shall never escape. A thousand years of endless agony and... Uh, oh. oh, hang on. Yes? Hey, are you guys okay? Uh, more or less, you. I'm with Erod, Dina, Hagen, and her minion. They're making some other calls to check on the others, too. Did I hear people falling down? The house has us now. We are now in its grip. Soon we too shall hear the voice from the dark. Oh, enough about that. Look, we need to get back together. We shall all be together again. A mass of the living dead, and we will never... Hey, Lovecraft? Yes? Put me on speakerphone. Oh, uh, right. Uh, one moment. Hey, dudes, I think we all need to focus on getting out of this place. See if you can find a way out of the house. Or at least reunite with the rest of us. It sounded like some of us are in more trouble than the others. Sounds like a plan. Keep in touch via text. We'll try to conserve battery power. Not that our phones were doing that great in here to begin with. There's that, too. Okay, we're gonna head out. Talk to you guys later. Hopefully, anyway. Okay, just feeling out a wall here. <laughs> Figures, right? I'm the Disney Parks guy, and my chilling challenge is to find a way out! Is this really the right time for references? We all deal with stress differently! Ah, found a door. As good a place as any to start. Oh yes, now it begins.